Hey guys, welcome to Reddit Brew. You know the drill. We're back at it again with the r slash entitled people reddit stories. So let's just jump into it, shall we? Brother ruined my wedding by proposing, so I ruined his proposal. I, 35 year old male, have a younger brother Todd, 29 year old male, who had a complicated birth and had to stay a month in the ICU. And because of that, my parents have always doted on him and almost denied him nothing, even if it was to the detriment of my sister Abby and I. My brother drinks in on the attention and on more than one occasion, made himself the center of attention at either my, my sister's, or a cousin's special event. Because of this, Abby and I have a strained relationship with Todd and our parents. Unfortunately, Todd met and fell in love with Lucy, 24-year-old female, who announced her own pregnancy at the baby shower my mom held for my sister. When I proposed to my wife, Michelle, I just wanted to elope but she really wanted her family to be there, so I invited my family out of obligation. While out, my best man Jim noticed the receipt from a jewelry store slipped out of Todd's pocket. Jim confronted Todd about this, which led to an argument. Jim told me everything, and I told Todd that he was no longer going to be a groomsman because I knew he was going to propose at my wedding. Todd cried to our parents, which led to a blowout. In my parents' eyes, since Todd never admitted that he was was going to propose to Lucy at my wedding, I was unfairly judging him. I refused and brought up Todd's past behavior. My parents couldn't refute this and got Todd to agree to not try anything at my wedding. This wasn't enough to convince me to let him be a groomsman, but I warned him that if, as a guest, he'd try anything, I would make him regret it. Fast forward to the wedding and surprise, surprise, Todd walked over to Lucy and proposed to her during Michelle's father-daughter dance and and did it in a way so that everyone would notice. Cue my revenge. Jim and I had hired a woman to pretend to be Todd's side piece who cornered Todd and Lucy and claimed that she was pregnant with his baby. Todd denied this, but when she called his phone, I gave her his number and messed with Todd's phone to incriminate him. It didn't look good. Lucy threw the ring back at Todd and left in tears. When Todd saw the smile on my face, he knew that it was me and I didn't respond to a single call Flash text from him or my parents until after the honeymoon. Lucy has thrown Todd's stuff out and has been denying access to their kid. Todd is furious and is demanding that I clear his name. I sent him a text saying that I had no idea what he was talking about, as well as a screenshot of a bill for the wedding and gave a vague message demanding reimbursement for half of the wedding costs. Michelle knew the whole time what I was planning and gave me the green light after Todd ruined her moment with her dad, so I felt pretty good but now even Abby thinks I went too far. Don't try anything, I'll make you regret it. Try something, regrets it, shocked Pikachu face. Like, OP did warn him, to be fair. But honestly, this family is messed up, man. Took Toxic to a whole new level. I think everyone just needs to go no contact and move on from one another. Because I honestly never see this dynamic getting better. Bygones desperately need to be bygones for this one. Bridezilla is angry because I refused to go to her wedding when she told me that I'm not allowed to act autistic. I, 15 year old female and my future aunt-in-law, 28 year old female, don't get along. The only reason I have ever put up with her is because I love my uncle to bits and because he was there for me during my parents' divorce. The other day, I got into an altercation with my Pfeiffer aunt-in-law. We went dress shopping and I overheard her saying to her maid of honor that she doesn't really want me at the wedding because I'm difficult. I told her I overheard and I stormed out. Later that day, I got a call from my uncle asking me to apologize to her. She lied to him, saying that I called her fat in all the dresses she tried on. I told him no and I told him the truth, but he didn't believe me, so I was forced to apologize. I was trying on a dress with my girlfriend in my room when I heard my uncle's voice from downstairs. I gave him a hug and he told me I looked like a rock star. Whenever I get compliments that 
really make me happy, I bang my hands together. Anyway, when I was in the room alone with future aunt-in-law, she told me that if I'm going to be at her wedding, then I have to not act autistic. I cried, and my uncle heard me crying and asked me what's wrong. I told him, but yet again, he didn't believe me. I was sick of her making me feel worthless because I was born with autism. I told my uncle that I loved him, but wouldn't be attending his wedding because I was sick and tired of the verbal abuse I got from her. My uncle and dad have been trying to get me to reconsider, but I put my foot down. My mom, her wife, sister, girlfriend, and friends are standing by with me and telling my future aunt-in-law to pull her stuff together and stop thinking that her wedding day is something that will be talked about for generations. She also is a total bridezilla. She also has verbally abused my six-year-old cousin because he's hard of hearing and has dyslexia. Ugh, my heart breaks for OP. People like future aunt-in-law disgust me. Like yes, absolutely no one is going to be talking about her wedding for generations, but if she keeps behaving like that, people will definitely be talking about her for generations, but not for the reasons she wants them to. More like a, remember uncle's ex-wife who was a total B with an itch? Sort of way. Good for OP for standing her ground though. I'm proud of her for doing that, and I hope she takes a break from this uncle and instead leans on the family members that support her. AITA for kicking out one of my bridesmaids for showing up in the wrong dress. My wedding was back on December 31st and I'm still getting backlash from this. So I want to know if this was an a-hole move. In the country I live in, it's currently winter and we get a fair amount of snow. So my wedding was a winter themed wedding. The color theme was forest green and gold. My dress was obviously white and I chose the color of my bridesmaids dresses to be forest green as well. My maid of honor's dress was black and every everyone was to wear gold accessories. I have this friend, we'll call her Kat, that I asked to be one of my bridesmaids. When we went dress shopping and I told them the color theme I was going for, Kat immediately expressed that she thought forest green was a bad choice. She said she thinks it's not a flattering color and thought I should choose something different and more girly. I said no because my wedding was winter themed and I thought the color would go perfect with that theme. She suggested a pink, blue, even a red. I said no, but thanks for your opinion. She found out my maid of honor's dress was black and asked if she could wear black too. I said no, only my maid of honor is wearing black. I paid for all the dresses. Fast forward to wedding day, everyone's getting their hair and makeup done and Kat shows up 30 minutes late holding a bag that looked like it had a dress inside. I asked her what this was for. She told me it was for later on at the reception if she got uncomfortable and wanted to change after pictures. I was like, okay, cool. So fast forward, forward, we're all dressed and walking down the stairs because the ceremony is beginning in 30 minutes and we're going to take some pictures before. Kat is the last person to come down and she's wearing a black dress. At the time, I was preoccupied taking pictures with my parents, but my maid of honor came over to me and made me aware of the situation. I confronted Kat and asked her what was going on. She said she hates her bridesmaid dress as the color is ugly and makes her look gross, so she's wearing black. I told her, please, please go back and change. She refused and started walking away from me. I said I'm going to ask her one more time and if she doesn't oblige, I'm calling security and kicking her out. She began yelling at me to f off, so I called security and asked them to please escort her out. She started making a big scene, yelling how I'm such a bitch that I can't force her to wear anything and that I'm a horrible, inconsiderate friend. The wedding went on and it was truly amazing. Ever since the wedding, Kat has been blowing up my phone with texts, saying some really nasty things and asking for the money bag she spent on the black dress. Since it was a waste, and she didn't get to wear it. I had to block her number. Some of my other bridesmaids have been giving me shit, saying it was a little harsh kicking her out and embarrassing her like that, and that maybe I should give her the money back. AITA for kicking her out? Uh, huge, big, not the a-hole. I can't even believe that OP would even think 
She was the a-hole in this situation. Kat and the other bridesmaids that do think that OP was the wrong in this circumstance, honestly, good riddance to them. Those are not friends. Here's how I see it. Being in a wedding is like playing a part in a play. You get cast as bridesmaid, so you wear the costume that the artistic director has picked out for bridesmaids to wear. If you don't want to wear the costume, don't be in the show. But you can't just show up on opening night and say, I didn't like your costume choices, so I'm going to wear the same costume as the other character instead. That's not how it works, cat. Get wrecked. But anyway, that is all from me today. I hope you enjoyed these three Entitled People Reddit stories. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I truly appreciate when you do, and I will see you in the next Reddit story. Bye!